What's up everybody? Today in Schedule 1, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Chemist. And this will be a really basic guide for beginners. So the first thing we'll have to do is put down our stations really quick. So we got our... we have a Chemistry Station and a Lab Oven. We got two of each. And these can both be purchased from Oscar on the black market. And each Chemist can operate up to four stations automatically at a time. So we're going to do our chemistry station, our lab oven, and we'll put them right next to each other. All right, now that the station is down, you want to go up to your employee, take out your clipboard by pressing 9 or scrolling over to it. You want to walk up to the chemist and press E to manage them. The first thing we'll do is just select the option here to assign them to a bed. And then we're going to run over and then just find an open bed for them. We'll just choose this one. Oh yeah, we'll also want to put some money in there. Otherwise the employee is not going to work for us. Alright, now that we have the bed selected, we can now click where it says assign stations. Okay, so now we can go over to the stations we just put down and what you want to do to make it quick and easy is just hold down the shift key and then left click on each station and so now we have all four selected and now we can press enter and that will assign all four stations to the chemist at once all right the next thing we'll have to do is go up to the chemistry station with your clipboard out and press E to manage the chemistry station. And you'll first want to choose the recipe. So we'll choose this here. And then you want to choose the destination. So this is very important. So you want to make it go from the chemistry station over to the lab oven right here. Okay. So the worker is automatically going to move the products over once it's done. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll choose the recipe and we'll choose the destination, which is the lab oven. All right, now we can put our clipboard away. Now what we we'll want to do is go up to the chemistry station and you have to place down the three ingredients. So we'll want to put in the pseudo, acid, and then the phosphorus. And once those three ingredients are down, um, should be good. See, she's already coming over to start working. Don't forget, though, you'll have to go up to the lab oven and then set a destination for that. So once the product is complete, you'll want to output it to a storage. So mine's going to go right over here to this large storage rack. All right. And you can always double check it if you have your clipboard out. Oh, and as far as getting pseudo, you'll want to just contact, could have sent a message to Shirley, and you can order a dead drop of the pseudo. Then as far as the phosphorus and the acid, you would get those from Oscar. Same place we got the two stations here. All right, so the chemist just walked up. She started the first batch here. Once it's done, she's going to move it over to the lab oven. That'll take another couple minutes. And once that's done, she'll move it over to the large storage rack over there. So let's actually finish up this one so we don't forget. So we'll put our three ingredients. And we want to make sure our lab oven destination is set. Okay. Good. And see, now that I put the ingredients into this one, she's already working at the station. And if you want to finish the process, so if you want to have it packaged for you, I just have the handler pick up the products. He brings it over to the brick press, and then eventually I get this. Bricks of uh, the good premium stuff here. 